Hey guys, hopefully this is going to be the last video recording iOS 18.2 as we are expecting 18.2.1 very soon. So in this video, I'm just going to give a look to what 18.2 offers us on non-Apple intelligence iPhone. Along with that, I will talk about the performance so far and the battery life so far and when we are expecting 18.2.1 release. These are a few things that I'm going to cover in this video. Now, as we know, 18.2 is one of the biggest update and I'm running this update on my iPhone 10s and wow what a smooth this update is everything is so far really good we all know there's tons of new things going on this update starting with all a new ui of mail app where there are filters on top with the profile images or you can call them contact photos that looks really really great there are a lot of changes in the photos app where the view of photo app is pretty much completely change how the images open up they are completely changed the top is changed now there is arrow instead of cross the look of this ui is changed along with this look of many folders is also changed for example if i go to maybe um a recently deleted folder now instead of cross there is a back arrow as you can see so i cannot go back just like this in before 18.2 I need to do this something like this so there are a lot of changes in the photos app there are new safari background wallpapers if i go to the safari over here um add a go over here sorry over here in the added section go over here these are some of the five i guess or four i guess new safari wallpapers or we can call them backgrounds also, we do have Safari live activity. So if I am downloading something, it will show over here in the live activity. There are a lot of changes with the Apple um, podcast over here. Where if I go to the Apple podcast, I do have option of categories where a lot of categories available where I can add, as you can see, to the favorite one, tons of things going on. There is natural language in Apple Music. There is layer recording in voice memos. There is a volume limit in the settings app. If I go over here and do sound and haptics, all the way down over here, volume limit, I can turn on the volume limit if I want to. So yeah, iOS 18 is one of the biggest update. If I go back from here, go all the way down into the apps. Now there is default app section available where I can choose different default apps for myself. Just like this, there is a lot going on and with AI intelligent um, features too, but somehow I cannot show you the AI features because this is not an AI iPhone. But yeah, these were the things that were launched with the iOS 18.2, which makes the 18.2 perfect. Also, if I talk about bit about the performance, i18.2 has the best performance so far. Um, however, the public versions are available. 18.0 was not that good. 18.1 was not that good. 18.1.1 was not that good. 18.1, 18.2. I'm running 18.2 as you can see over here is one of the best. I get really good benchmarks over here. 13, 13 on a single core, one, three, two, four on a multi core on iPhone 10s. Quite an old device, according to this. If I average this out higher than the average, higher than the average, which means whatever iPhone you are using, you will be getting a really good performance. Just like this GPU benchmark over here is also going really good. It is way higher than the average one, which means whatever iPhone you are on it will be giving you a much higher score so yeah it is really good update also if i go to the settings over here and let like talk a bit about the battery life over here um maybe i go today i'm using this device as you can see i used around 65 percent at two hours and 28 minute screen on time as it's a really old device where the most used app is youtube over here and some other applications on this day, I used 100% of my device, as you can see, and I got almost 5 hours and 50 minutes screen on time where I use different applications like YouTube, Tab, Math, Threads, Camera, WhatsApp, Pocket Cast, and some other applications. So this battery life is also decent. I know there are people who are facing battery draining issues, but hopefully that will be fixed with the 18.2.1. Hopefully. 
now what we can expect from it 8.2.1 it is going to be a double dot update so we are not expecting any sort of new features or new big changes we are just expecting some um, security patches some bug fixes hopefully the expected release date for the 88.211 for me is this week it can be today um 6th of january or 7th of january or maybe 8th of january on these three days i am expecting a new update what are your thoughts about new updated let me know in the comment section below so i just want to give a look to final look to the 88.2 before the release of 18.2.1 now what do you think about this video let me know in the comment section below how your device is going on which iphone you are using and how the performance is going on let me know in the comment section below also i have like uploaded a bit of um polls on my thread account if you want to follow me this is the ios guy 101 you can go and follow me over here and i have like some of the polls going on like best compact phone of the year best os skin of the year best os of the year phone of the year a lot of stuff is going on and a regular post many of the stuff so go and check out that too so yeah this is all from this video again which iphone you are using that will in the comment section below and i will catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out